Welcome back. Believe it or not, it is the fourth Monday of the month, and that means it's finally time for a brand new Monday Manger. Our very own Al Bear, he is hanging out with friend of the show, Stacy Dempsey of the Frosted Apron, and they have an Easter treat in store for us. Let's see what they're up to. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Taylor. Easter, right around the corner. Yes. Stacy Dempsey, the Frosted Apron. It is time for the Monday Manger. It is. How exciting. I know I love this, and it's an Easter Monday Manger. It is. What are we going to do? So these are something that I call chocolate Cadbury bombs. And all it is is that we use the Cadbury, the chocolate Cadbury cream eggs with a can of the regular biscuits. Oh, wow. Not the grands. The grands are going to be too big for this. Like you'll have, you want it to be kind of like a bite size. Yeah kind of thing so um, you definitely want to use the regular cans of biscuit and I'm doing the buttermilk flaky and I mean who doesn't love a Cadbury egg? I, and look I'm a big fan of flaky biscuits too I like that what made you decide to do flaky um it's, it's honestly what they had in the store so I feel like you could um, really use any type if they have the home style um, just the buttermilk whatever you want to use you can I use. think a flaky biscuits kind of an experience I, I love a flaky <laughs> biscuit so well you're gonna love this then this is I, gonna be a whole new experience I am all in on the flaky biscuits. because it's not super sweet and it also has that buttery flavor coming in um, you can eat more than one of these oh okay. I can probably eat 12 of them <laughs> okay so where do we start okay so you just take the um, the dough out of the can and you just have get a roller and you just want to like spread the dough out like this not too much now that's very simple you want to try it sure and you just want to keep it circular shape I know you got that. Yeah, look at you. Kind of I put sticky. a little bit of wax paper down. Oh, yeah. You don't have to do that. You can do it right on Is the counter. Is that a good shape? Or yeah, that's good. Do I need good. to go this way? You can to go both ways. Yeah, there you go. Yours is a little flatter than mine, but it'll work. We can show them two different ways. There you go. We're going to show you two different ways. Yeah, yours ways. is a little bit more flatter than mine. So then you want to just unwrap your uh, cream egg, and you just put it in the center like this. And you want to just wrap that dough. Now, does it have it. to be completely wrapped? It does. You have to pinch it. Okay. You want to pinch it. Now, I find that even though as much as I try to pinch this, mm -hmm. <laughs> some always oozes out when it's baking in the oven. But it's okay. As soon as you take it out the oven, if you have a little bit that oozed out, mm -hmm. just take them out and transfer them to some parchment paper so they don't get sticky. So i got to be honest. When that happens, mm -hmm. it drives me completely when, insane. What, when stuff oozes out? Yes. I know. That is, that's like... I, I don't like it either. Like, I but, need medication. But, like... It's okay, though. I mean, if a little comes out, it's all right. Those are less calories. <laughs> oh, well, that's a positive way to look at it. So, look, you just want to make sure it's completely pinched. And then you want to put that part, the seam that we just pinched, mm -hmm. down on some parchment paper, just like this, on our little baking pan. Oh, great. And this is 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. So, we're going to come back. We're yep. going to bake these up. We're going to see what we got. We're going to go back to you in the studio, Easter, at the Frosted Apron. Welcome back. It is the fourth Monday of the month. That means it's time for Monday Manger. Al Eber, he is with Stacy Dempsey. They are making some Cadbury egg bombs. Let's see how it's going. Hey guys, what's up? Hey Taylor, we are back. Stacy Dempsey, the Frosted Apron Monday Manger, a very special Easter edition yes. for the Monday Manger. Yes. So we have baked our uh, little biscuit and the we Cadbury did. egg. We did. What do we do next? Okay, so just for a little recap of what we did is we just used the regular size biscuits um, and a Cadbury egg. And all you want to do is roll that dough out like this so it's a little flat. And then you want to take the Cadbury egg, put it in the center, and you're just going to roll that dough over it like this. Pinch the seam, make sure it's nice and pinched, and then you're just going to place it down like this on some parchment paper on a, a baking pan. 
350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Take them out of the oven. If you have some of that cream filling that oozed out, it's okay. Just while it's hot, transfer it to some parchment paper and let it cool on there. Gotcha. Because if you let it cool on the pan, is you're gonna it's gonna harden up that right. all that cream filling, oh, yeah, and then yeah. it's gonna be stuck to your biscuit. We don't want that. No. So just transfer it to some parchment paper, let it cool, and then we're gonna make our glaze. And okay. this is our go-to glaze that yes. we always make together all the time. Um, I did. I'm not making as much because this isn't a whole bunch of things that we have to glaze. So it's just one cup of powdered sugar that we already have in the bowl mm -hmm. um, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract but you could also use almond extract if you wanted ah. and a pinch of salt I know that always gets you it always baffles me why the salt just a little bit of salt saltiness we need and then starting with one tablespoon of water at a time you want to add it to your powdered sugar and then mix see that I, I'm always amazed at this because it doesn't take a lot of water it does, for it, this glaze to start working. Right. So see, that's two tablespoons. You'll probably need three. So one cup of powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla or almond extract. And I'm thinking we're going to need three. Now, can the glaze be too thin? Oh, this looks it like it's going to be perfect. If it, if it looks like it's too thin then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and add a little bit more powdered sugar to This it. is perfect. I think we made the perfect glaze. Look at you. I mean, we've made it enough, right? I know. We should, we should know <laughs> we how this works. We to do works. this with our eyes closed. Wow, look at that. Okay, so. So simple. So you just wanna put a little bit of glaze. Um, this is gonna give it a hint of more sweetness. Mm -hmm. It's like a donut because glaze. Because the biscuits have no uh, They don't. Sugar in it's them. just gonna be buttery and flaky which is also really good. I found these little Easter sprinkles um, at the grocery store. Right now you can find them everywhere because it is Easter time. And then I'm just adding some chocolate sprinkles on top. Nice. And that is it. Wow, that is so simple. I gotta try these because- Try them. That's what I get um, paid for. We could call these a snacktivity. Do these with the kids. They're so easy. I they can fold up the dough. This is one of the easiest things we've ever done. I think it is. Fun for the kids. Yeah, and it's Eastery and it's delicious. Mm, mm. Isn't it good? It's great. Yeah, you got that Cadbury egg inside of there. Good old mm. Cadbury Easter bomb. Look. Mmm. Delicious. We'll go back <laughs> to you in the studio. Simple, amazing. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> Bye. It looks delicious. We're going to have that recipe on our website, kdn.com. We'll be right back after this.